What is up YouTube? I'm back from another video here and I wanted to share with you guys a pretty awesome uh, e eBay purchase from uh, this this video is going to be from the same seller. Uh, first up I got four sets of cards here. And this cost me five dollars in an auction on eBay. Uh, Shipping was a little bit, uh, and I'll get right into it, and I'll save the uh, best to last. And then I got another uh, lot here that is from that same seller that I won for five dollars, and it's pretty good. This is a pretty good haul, and this this is this is amazing. But I'll start to show you the sets here. this first set and you'll probably see some cards that look familiar to these here in this next lot but this is see 1994 I'll show you what these look like I don't like that box there it's kind of crimping the cards but that is 1994 finish line so that is one set. Then we have camera can pick that up. 1994 Press Path VIP. I always like the VIP line and Press Pass, of course. And here's what they look like. So that is awesome. Set number two. All these were five bucks plus shipping. And that is, everything came together, so, since it was from the same seller, this is 1994 High Gear. And here is what these look like. Now this is, this this product was uh, produced in two series, Series 1 Series 2. Series 2 had the uh, Dell Jr. Rookie Card. You guys remember that but this is series one 1994 wheels high gear and then the the most awesome set that was in this lot for five bucks for five bucks i got all these sets was 1988 max and if you guys don't know this is the first nationally released nascar set and that's uh which Everybody knows Richard Petty started before 1988, way before 1988, but the 88 Max card is widely known as his rookie card as well. There's a lot of rookie cards in there. There is a Dale Earnhardt Championship card in there as well, but it's not considered his rookie card. Uh, not sure why. Maybe because it's with, it shows Earnhardt with his crew. And uh, there's Bill Elliott rookie card in there, and that's the hundred card set. Uh, pretty sure this doesn't have the variations. Uh, if you know the 1988 Max set, there were some variations earlier in the print run, and those are worth pretty good. Uh, those are worth pretty good, I guess. And then there's uh, like a Myrtle beach line but these are the charlotte cards and that is the whole s the whole lot that i got there for five bucks and if that wasn't good this next lot's even better guys uh i'll put these back in these boxes here uh no racing is down now, but this next law is gonna blow you away. They were uh, posted in pictures of four card sheets. You really couldn't see in too much detail what was there. I mean, you could kind of make it out some of some of the cards, but uh, I had a pleasant surprise on one of the pages when they came. 
So that that card's going to be hopefully if I got them rearranged right, uh, that'll probably be the last last sheet that I show. So we'll get right into it. They were in four card pages, like I said, and there were some loose cards that were in the sleeves. Uh, this Harry Gant is a prototype from 1994. So there's a Kyle Petty that is also, yeah, I guess that is, yeah, prototype, and a Terry Labonte corn, Kellogg's Cornflakes card. So I guess these were the whole set, I guess. Maybe we'll, I don't know if that Harry, Harry Gant is kind of in the set, just Kyle Petty and the Terry Labonte. But get right into it. There's some complete insert sets. We got uh, VIP 1994, the Driver's Choice. We got uh, the complete set there. Let's see if I can do this in a better way. I'll just pick up the camera. Might be less glare. Okay, there's the uh, rest of the 94s. Uh, driver's Choice. And then, I, I didn't think I'd end up winning this because of these cards right here. These are signed on-card autographs. Some of the earliest NASCAR autographs, and uh, there's 19 total in the set, and there's 18 here. So I'm missing one card, and that's the Ernie Irvin. They were seated, I believe, one to a box, is how they were. So we got Ricky Craven. Denny Wagner, if you're watching this, you probably remember these. There's David Green. Uh... Jim Make Makar, uh, I think that's well, Glare Buddy Parrot. And we got one of the best cards in the set, Mark Martin, Dale Jarrett, Dale Jarrett. There, we got Ray Evernham. We got Tony Glover, I believe, the crew chief from number four. We've got Kenny Wallace. We got Lake Speed, and and these cards are just beautiful with the gold foil and the uh, ahead of its time back in 1994. These guys used gold paint pens, so that is awesome. And we got Brett Bodine, Kenny Schrader, a little glare there. One. This this total lot was five dollars also, plus sh shipping. Hermie Sadler, Robert Presley, Morgan Shepard, Terry Labonte. Let's save that one. That's one of the better, the best cards that I didn't even see in the picture. Couldn't really tell for for the glare. Everything that was included, but I was able to tell that the finish line autographs were in there And we got the set of teamwork cards with Gordon there and ever ever hand Drivers and their crew chiefs There's one with Mark Martin uh, Dale Jarrett His Crew chief Ricky Rudd Rusty Wallace uh, Jeff Bodine there and Andrews Daryl Waltrip there was a couple uh, football cards these are promo cards uh, Steve Young and Emmett Smith and we got some Max Allen Quickie cards let's see were those pro prototype cards no must have been an Allen Quickie set well, we got Action Packed promo card, a Jeff Gordon promo card, and Kyle Petty. I'm pretty sure that's what those are, yep. 
And we've got, I think this is an unlicensed Dale Earnhardt card. Then we have the set of the prospects from Press Pass, 1994. Those are all here. Then we have the driver's choice. That set's here. Including Dale Earnhardt, Ernie Urban, Rusty Wallace, and Mark Martin. I think that was four card set. Yep. Then we have the Rookie of the Year set from Max, 1994, I believe. Those are all here. And then we've got some phone cards. And featuring uh, Jeff Gordon from 1994. Rusty Wallace there. Then we have a set of Harry Gant foil cards from 1940, 1994, I should say, wheels. Those are all here. I think that was a five-card set. They're SP out of the Harry Gant set. Then we have the High Series Rookie Thunder cards. I think there were like five cards in the set. Earn Hart, Bobby Hamilton, Hermie Sadler, and Jeff Gordon from I think it was 90 to 94. Then we have the uh, platinum versions of those. I don't remember how the high series came, whether they were just like a, a pack that you could get through wheels. I'm not really sure, I don't remember. How those came. And there's the checklist. But they were only like five cards in the set, so. And then there's a Bill Elliott prototype card. Then we have another set here called Race Day from Press Pass. With a really young Jeff Gordon there. Mark Martin. And then we got Davey Allison, Ernie Irvin, Dale Jarrett, Jeff Bodine. Some shiny, shine, shine, shine there. Here's uh, Dale Earnhardt. Dale Earnhardt card in the set, Rusty Wallace. And then we got a set of the Legends cards from Wheels. Richard Petty there. David Pearson, Bobby Allison, Kel Yarborough, and uh, Ned Jarrett, and Benny Parsons. And a Bill Elliott Chromium card. Uh, let's see, is this a prototype? No, I think it was part of the set. There was a set included in the Factory series of these Chrome cards. And then the last page, which I can see this card but I couldn't really tell that I had a signature on it in the pictures that was posted and that is from 1994 I'll show you the other two cards in the finish line set Ricky Rudd and Michael Walter is this Jeff Gordon so and it does have the uh, wheels stamp there I'm thinking about getting this one graded are not graded but just authenticated have it encapsulated it's an early Jeff Gordon autograph and it doesn't have the sticker that was before they started putting the little sticker there on the autograph so hopefully it comes back authentic I think it will Rusty Rawls driver's choice and maybe some of these finish line I think I might maybe send those off too maybe get some of those early autographs just an awesome looking set I think Ahead of its time in 1994. So that is going to do it. That 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 whole lot was five bucks. So I got like I got ten dollars plus shipping in those this this whole video. So I think I ended up paying like eighteen dollars total. So I think a pretty good haul pretty awesome haul I do believe
even if it's NASCAR cards, NASCAR is down right now, but still, all those autograph cards, 19 autograph cards, 10 bucks, Jeff, early Jeff Gordon autograph, and a 1988 Max set, wow, holy cow, but I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.